get tired of going to church. Can I just preach for real? Every now and first lady, even us sanctified folk, to get tired of dealing with the same conversations. Every now and then, us delivered folks get tired of having to go through some of the things we go through. And every now and then, a saint would take a makeup in their mind that I gotta sit back and relax. Oh God, that's the moment the devil tries to come in. The moment you decide to take a break, I, every now and then, me and my wife get on the road and we travel down the road. And one of the things I don't like to do is stop at numerous arrest stops. Because if I stop at a rest stop, every single time we pass by it, then it adds more time to my destination. But I gotta understand something, that I'm not driving the car by myself. So I gotta consider that she can't hold certain things the way I can hold it. But she gotta pull over from time to time just to release. So I looked at this thing from a spiritual mind frame because we're on a destination heading to God. And there's some of us who can stay on the road. There's some of us who can stay in prayer. There's some of us who can stay fasting. There's some of us who can stay believing. And they don't want to step out of the will of God. But they want to stay back on the same destination. Because they recognize if I step out of the will of God, then it's going to take me longer to get to glory. So I stay on the road. Every now and then, you come across people that don't want to stay on the road, but they need a break from time to time. They need a rest stop from time to time. And it's not saying that they're not going to Zion Street, but what it's saying is, I got to a point that I just need to refresh myself. There's nothing wrong with being a saint of God. Now and then, pulling over, looking at your life, and saying, God, everything that I am, God, everything that I be, I need you to refresh me, refresh my mind, refresh my spirit, refresh my soul. Give me We gotta open up our eyes, open up our minds, open up our spirits, and forget about who he is, who he is to somebody else, but look at who he is to me, myself, and I. I got your neighbor and say, neighbor, I messed up, I might have slipped, but I have not lost my anointing. Look at me now. I may have a job I'm dealing with that may be laying me off. I may have health conditions in my party. But I see, I see the glory of God. I see the salvation of God. And I recognize that this whole wretched man that he made me to be, it came with issues. It Keep believing. 